2023 Kia Niro EV specifications. Base price $40,000, Est price is tested $46,000, Est vehicle layout front motor, forward, 5 pass, 4 door SUV. Few vehicles have undergone such radical design transformations as the 2023 Kia Niro EV while still driving so much like the model they replaced. Inside and out, Kia's new electric compact crossover has traded the old Nero's anonymous economy car vibe for a funky, techie, and daring look. Call me vain, but the makeover works. I'd much rather be seen in this Nero Ev than the one that came before it. But in the same way that dressing Justin Bieber in glasses and a sweater vest won't help him earn Mensa membership, the electric Nero is largely the same car underneath its new duds. That's not necessarily a bad thing, as the outgoing car drove with a quiet, basic competence. It does mean, though, that the Nero's EV technology is no longer cutting edge compared to its competitors. Go slower, go longer. The Nero, which is also sold as a hybrid and plug-in hybrid, has always been best to drive as a pure EV. The single-speed, front-wheel drive electric powertrain brings more power and more polish than either of the other powertrains. That remains true for 2023, though the EV's extra punch no longer hits as hard. The single motor makes the same 201 horsepower as it did last year, but torque has plummeted from 291 to 188 pounds to foot that's a difference you can feel, particularly off the line and at low speeds. It also makes the Nero the rare EV where you'd never use the words instantaneous torque to describe the experience. The reduced thrust shows up in our test numbers, with the 2023 model needing an extra 0.3 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour even though it weighed 189 pounds less than the 2019 model we tested. At 6.5 seconds, it's still plenty swift for its mission, and owners may benefit from less tire wear since the Nero EV almost never spins its wheels. Buyers are more likely to care that the EPA range moves in the right direction, climbing from 238 miles to an impressive 253 miles using a battery that's essentially unchanged in energy capacity. Peak charging speed inches up from 77 to 85 kilowatts, moving much slower than the industry's pace of progress. Almost every other new EV coming out in 2023 will be able to swallow at least 150 kilowatts. Blurring the lines between a wagon and an SUV, the Nero provides drivers with an elevated seating position while the low stance keeps body roll in check. Its light, accurate steering and smooth brake calibration make for easy, relaxed driving on city streets and country roads. Its greatest shortcoming is the way it copes with sharp impacts. Although Kia has made massive strides in handling and ride quality in recent years, there are still echoes of the older cars when the Nero encounters potholes and frost heaves. It's stiff and stilted and prone to cause passengers' heads to bob and toss. Speed helps smooth out the jostling, but that's a small consolation for city dwellers. The price problem. Kia hasn't released final pricing, but company reps tell us to expect a base price of about $40,000, which roughly matches that of the outgoing Nero EV. That likely means that the top trim wave model we tested will top $45,000. Those numbers wouldn't have caused us to flinch a year ago. The problem is that Chevrolet has pretty much single-handedly ruined the value proposition of a $40,000 Nero EV. Earlier this year, the GM brand announced massive price cuts for the Bolt EV and Bolt UV, which now start at $26,595 and $28,195, respectively. We could easily look past the Nero's slow charging speed, though the Bolt's charge speeds are even slower, and the sometimes choppy ride if Kia had followed Chevy's lead in using its old tech to make EVs more affordable. And coming next year, the roughly $30,000 Chevrolet Equinox EV will offer more space and better in-car technology while using GM's next-generation Altium battery. Chevrolet appears determined to take Kia's old job as America's value brand. The Nero is also facing pressure from Kia's own EV6, which offers a starting price of $42,695, up to 310 miles of range, and charging that can pile on more than 200 miles of range in less than 20 minutes. A Nero EV is a better value than an EV6 if you're focused purely on how many miles of range you get for every dollar spent. The longer, lower, wider, and sleeker EV6 drives as good as it looks, though, and it can be had with all-wheel drive and greater range if you have money to spend. Pretty to look at, sometimes frustrating to use. The old Nero's economy car routes were obvious, with cheapness that you could see and feel throughout the interior. The 2023 model is stylish and modern enough to hide any evidence of cost-cutting. It's not that the materials are necessarily nicer in the new Nero. You can still find plenty of hard plastics. The design of the cockpit and the finishes of those plastics, though, keep your attention from ever focusing on them. The cabin is dominated by two 10.3-inch screens mounted under a single pane of glass. 
The crisp and clear graphics look cool, but they are not as easy to decipher or navigate as in the old car. Kia, which once was a leader in easy to use in car tech, has been led astray in pursuit of fast fashion. It gets worse, below the center air vents, there's a long, thin panel with two knobs and a bevy of touch sensitive icons. You tap one of those icons to switch all the others between controlling the climate and infotainment systems. In other words, the same knob that adjusts the driver's air temperature also changes the volume. Pecking at any of the touch sensitive controls requires too much time and focus, and on some 105 degree days, you may find yourself straining to hear the person on the other end of your Bluetooth phone call, only to discover five miles later that you were cranking the air conditioning to max heat rather than turning up the volume during the call. Most drivers will likely overcome the learning curve relatively quickly, but isn't it better to design a car with no learning curve at all? You can sidestep some of these headaches using steering wheel controls, voice controls, or the standard wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Standard equipment for the well-equipped base wind trim includes heated front seats, a power driver's seat, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and USB ports in the backs of the front seats to keep rear occupants' devices powered up. The more expensive of the two trims adds wireless phone charging, a power passenger seat, ventilated front seats, a heated steering wheel, a premium 8-speaker audio system, and vehicle-to-load capability, which allows you to use the vehicle's charging port to power pretty much anything with a standard household plug. There's also a front trunk that's new for 2023, though it's only big enough to hold the mobile charging cord and not much else. Small gains in the wheelbase, length, and width provide similarly small improvements in passenger and cargo space over the outgoing Nero. This is one place where buyers may make their decision between a Nero EV or Kia EV6. The EV6's cabin offers more legroom and feels wider, but taller occupants might be just as comfortable in the taller Nero EV, particularly in the back seat. In the EV6, the rear cushion sits relatively close to the floor, providing less thigh support than the Nero's back seat. There's also more headroom, front and rear, in the Nero. It's nothing a price cut can't fix. Kia, along with sister brands Hyundai and Genesis, is consistently knocking out more original, interesting, and exciting designs than any other automaker right now, and the 2023 Kia Nero EV is another notch on the design team's belt. There's no question this redesign marks an upgrade over the vehicle it replaces. What makes us temper our enthusiasm, though, is the fact that the rest of the automotive world has changed even more dramatically. We're hoping there's enough overhead in spreadsheets for a future price cut that could make the Nero a great choice for first-time EV buyers on a budget.